For some reason, I changed my mind and I got the black one last minute, but I kind of wanted the pink ones as well. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Just came back from a surprise birthday party. It is like almost midnight actually, but with the help of my ring light, I'm going to film a video. Now, I'm super excited to do this video today because it's actually a collaboration with the lovely Romina Rose May, who is a fellow YouTuber. She has an amazing channel, guys. I I'm sure, like, if you watch me, you've probably watched her before. She has a big following and she loves to do luxury shopping vlogs and take us all around the shops. And I feel like I'm on a holiday when I watch her videos because I'm like, I feel like I'm a little buddy with her, like, shopping. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Absolutely love. I found Romita from her vlogs and I just find it so relaxing watching her channel. She have a common obsession with handbags and collecting cute little things. This ad on Instagram, it was from this brand called Irregular Choice and it was a Pokemon collection and I ended up uh, sharing it on my Instagram stories. Like, I was kind of like, guys, like, should I buy this? And then Romina and I started talking and we we're, were deciding whether we should buy something from this Pokemon collection. So guys, today I'm going to show you guys some pieces from the Irregular Choice Pokemon collection. And I know this is not usually the luxury content that I deliver liver but I am going to be revealing a cute little handbag and uh, guys I would really recommend you go over to Romina's channel as well and check out what she picked up because we ended up grabbing a different things. Hello everyone yes so hi <laughs> Jessie and I are probably the biggest nerds out there when we heard about you know irregular choice coming up with this collaboration we were so hyped <laughs> uh, it was it was just really crazy I mean I knew what I was gonna buy Jessie knew immediately what she was gonna buy and then there was this whole drama of her noticing that her bag was sold out immediately and you know what is she buying instead etc so it, it was a fun it was just really really fun I bought two pieces myself one is this one. <laughs> so I think this is the ugliest bag and we're talking fabulously ugly here. <laughs> I think this is the most fabulously ugly bag out there, um, if you ask me. So I'm the biggest Jigglypuff fan. Like I think I'm a Jigglypuff myself in my heart, in my soul. <laughs> yeah, absolutely love this little Jigglypuff here. Absolutely love this little Togepi. It's a dream. Look at this, how it changes from the Pokeball to, uh, can we see that? the Pokeball to the Pokemon. There, we can see it. I love it, guys. So it's like the ultimate <laughs> dream kitty bag. And okay, let me open it. Once you open it, let me take this out and show you in a second. It has a strap, first of all, which is pretty cool. And does it not look like the Bottega Veneta, like, golden pouch dumpling <laughs> i have that bag and this like interior lining just reminds me so much of that there we have a little phone pocket it's nicely made like let's be honest also bought a scarf I had two i didn't know if i wanted the eevee scarf or this one but i went with this one because it has all my favorite pokemon <laughs> i don't know guys if i can actually show this to you now or you know let me try and go back oh See, it has like Dragonite, Jigglypuff, a little Charmander right there. I know, we're such nerds. <laughs> but yeah, I got this scarf as well and I really like it and I think I'm going to wear it. I don't know what I do with this one. Maybe I will just put it somewhere and look at it and stare at it and I'll be happy every time I see it. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, like the day of the release... I don't know where I was, but Romina was, like, messaging me, like, Jess, like, it's dropped. And I was just, like, I, like, completely missed her message. And I was just, like, she's, like, Jess, like, your bag is already sold out, the one you wanted. And I was, like, ah! And I was, like, messaging her, like, oh, my gosh! So I, like, quickly went on the website and I, like, grabbed a few things. But the initial thing that I really wanted from this collection was this really cute camera bag, which I'll put up on the screen. And you're probably wondering, like, Jess, like, when are you going to wear that? Well, actually, it's our dream to go to Japan one day and, like, possibly go to Disneyland or, like, the Pokemon Center. And I feel like if I ever go to the Pokemon Center in Japan again, which I really hope that I will, this will be the po perfect Pokemon Center handbag. Actually, I got the package just the other day. It came in this little 
paper bag. I haven't opened it yet, but I did get a bag, so I'll probably leave that to the end, but I did pick up a few other bits and bobs. I don't know if I'll get more from a regular choice, like, because I used to buy a regular choice back in the day before I collected designer handbags. I did have some irregular choice bags, and I gave one to my sister, and I had some irregular choice shoes, but it's a really cute brand, guys. Like, it's not luxury, but it is, it's not the cheapest, it's just very artistic and fun. So if you're a handbag lover, check out Irregular Choice. They have really, really cute bags. And yeah, the, the prices are kind of expensive, but they're not like, you know, Louis Vuitton. Yeah. The first item that I'm really excited to unbox is in this little ASMR, guys. <laughs> Should I do an ASMR channel? Would I be? My voice is not very relaxing though, but I really admire ASMR artists because I think it's they're doing a good thing, you know. They're helping people to wind down and relax. I think that'd be pretty cool to make ASMR videos, but I don't know, guys. If I have the, I don't think I have an ASMR voice. Is the problem? I do like. I feel like handbag ASMR could be really good though. So this is the first piece I got guys. Let me just look at it. It's a little coin purse and I plan to use this as a catch-all in my bag for like my lip gloss, my coins. I really wanted the toiletry 15 from Louis Vuitton but then I thought, you know what? Maybe I don't want to spend like $800 on a cosmetics holder. Maybe I just want to get something fun. So I went for this irregular choice Pokemon collection coin purse. And as you can see, guys, there's a Bulbasaur, there's a Charmander, a Squirtle, and a Pikachu on the front. And on the back, there is a metallic blue finish with Pokemon. And the edging is, so you guys like the glazing? <laughs> it's not glazing, it's like piping. It's in red glitter. You know, this might not hold up like a Louis Vuitton piece, but it is quite cute. I thought, and yes, I am going to put this in all my handbags. Oh, oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Let me just pay for that. Like, it's, it's pretty cute, right? So, yeah. That's why I got the coin purse. I was so happy this one didn't sell out. And, oh, I probably should show you guys the inside. So, inside it is gold. And you've got the Pokemon Irregular Choice. I'm actually curious to see what this will fit inside. You have some cosmetics here. So I guess if you want like a standard lip gloss, um, oh my gosh, yes, it fits. So a standard lip gloss will fit in here if you just want a little like toiletry bag, but you don't want to spend toiletry 15 money. I would recommend this. Spare. Okay, maybe this won't fit. Oh, it's good guys, it fits a lot. You can even fit a whole mascara in here. Okay, what else do I have? A uh, little lip, perfect. So, love it guys. This is gonna be perfect for my handbags. <laughs> now these guys sold out, so if you do wanna get these, they might, they might do a restock though. So check the website. I haven't checked it recently, so I'm not sure what's still available, but these are some Pokemon socks. I had the pink ones in my cart, but they, for some reason, I changed my mind and I got the black one last minute, but I kind of wanted the pink ones as well. Oh. <laughs> I like hit myself in the face. Okay, so let me just open these Pokemon socks for you guys. So as I, you know, as socks, so, you know, they've got Eevee on the pink. Yeah, Eevee Evolution socks. Love it. I should have got the matching scarf to this, guys, but I think it's sold out. So I know Romina, she got something. She got one of the scarves, guys, so check it out. Like, yeah, I kind of want one of the scarves because I think they're really cute. But, yeah, got the socks and the packaging. How cute is the packaging, guys? Like, love it. So now we're on to the best part, the handbag. So I've actually really wanted a heart-shaped bag for a while. 
I really wanted the Louis Vuitton heart shaped bag from the Game On collection. I pre ordered it and then client services actually called me. I was one of the first people in Australia to pre order it and then I'd get it, but then my order got cancelled and they said, no, it's for, um, you know, only a few people. It's not coming to Australia. I didn't end up getting it. And then I, the Fall in Love collection, there was a the heart bag in, in the monogram, but it didn't come to Australia. It was, some, it was just hard to get. Couldn't get it. And then, you know, there's been so many heart-shaped bags. There was a Celine heart-shaped bag, the Chanel heart-shaped bag everyone's getting. Um, Actually, I could have probably got the Chanel heart-shaped bag, but I just didn't want to pay $8,000, to be completely honest, guys. But I do think it's kind of cute. Not dissing it, guys. Like, if you did get that, good on you. But <laughs> I just don't know if I would... To be honest, I really like the small hearts. Like, I like the, the really small hearts that Chanel did. And actually, Dacob got the heart-shaped necklace, which I think was adorable. Um, But, yeah. I also love the original heart shape from the, the 90s. But, you know, in my dreams, I would buy that because it's like twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on the pre-love market. But... I've wanted a heart shaped bag for a while, so when I saw this, guys, I just thought, why not, guys? Why not just fulfill that need of getting a heart shaped bag and get a Pokemon Pikachu heart shaped bag? So, <laughs> this is what I got. It's it features pink glitter and a Pikachu, and then the uh, and as you can see, it's like holographic blue. This is very like Louis Vuitton Shimmer Dart Stardust collection. I feel. I mean, it's cute, right? I mean, yes, the quality is not, you know, it's not like designer, but it, it is pretty cute. And the back has a like a patent finish with a Pokemon ball. And you can see the swing tag there. Um, and actually the Pikachu, it feels like a, like a, a suede material, like a velveteen texture. Um, I, this is not real leather. The, I think a regular choice is just PVC, but yeah, it's pretty cute. So the way you open it, guys, you open it like this. I just can't get over how it's a heart-shaped bag, guys. Like, I've wanted a heart-shaped bag for so long. There's actually one that I'm considering getting from Vivian Westwood, which is in the coming soon section. It's like a pink satin heart, like a little granny bag. Should I get that, guys? Like, I don't know. I don't want to start collecting heart shapes, though. I do... I did... I am bummed that I missed out on the Louis Vuitton one. That was, like, my favourite one. Just because it's, like, the classic monogram, but, like, a heart. I just think that's so funny, because I'm kind of bored of the monogram. But then, if it's a heart, it's kind of different. I don't know, guys. Like my scissors. Oh, no. <laughs> they have lashes stuck to them, because I keep... I'm going on eyelash advantage at the moment, guys, and, like, this is the remnants on my... Okay, that's kind of nasty. Don't look at that. <laughs> so, um, it features a, a little strap here, guys, and the strap is actually adjustable, which is quite good. And then I guess I'll do a mod shot for you guys. So, on me, uh, it just sits like this. Oh my gosh, guys, how cute is that? I think this is so good for, like, if you go to amusement parks and stuff or, like, you hang out with, like, kids. I don't know. Like, guys, I don't really hang out with kids, but maybe if I became an auntie or something, I'd wear this to be, like, a cool auntie. Or, I don't know, even if you go to kids' birthday parties and stuff, I think this is just, like, such a cute little bag. Like, I don't know, sometimes in life, like, you want to wear bags that aren't too serious, and this is really cute. Um, another one of my favourite not-too-serious bags is this Furla one, which I still love and wear. Even though I'm, like, t I'm turning 31 this year, guys, but I still love this bag. Sometimes there's times in your life where you can have a little bit of fun. Most of the time, guys, I do wear, you know, bags like, like, this is, I wore this again today, guys. I always wear this bag, but... You know, sometimes I'm not going to wear this, guys, to Luna Park <laughs> in Australia. I'm not going to wear this Wet and Wild. I'm not going to wear this to Disneyland. But maybe I might wear these to Disneyland, you know? So, yeah, that's why I got this bag. And, you know, maybe one day I'll go to the Pokemon Center and I can wear it. But I'm actually curious to see what will fit inside. 
I mean, it will fit. It should fit a card holder. I'm hoping. Okay, unorganized to me. My actual handbag is downstairs with all my wallets and stuff. I don't actually have like that many wallets. I just have like one card holder and that fragment one. And I had a glitter one, but I don't know where I put it. Anyway, so just pretend this is a card, guys. It will fit. So it will fit cards in here. Your I don't think it's going to fit a phone, but it will fit, like, your lip gloss cards, AirPods, keys, you know. It's a micro bag, guys. It's probably similar to the, the Chanel Hub. And this, the zipper. Pretty good. As Connor would say, buttery smooth. So, <laughs> yeah, love it. You know, it does have a bit of a defect here, though, guys. I will say. Oh, what? Oh, it's actually not that bad, but I... There's a bit of like a scratch here, but I think it's just like glue residue. Yeah. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, and as I said, Romina got different things um, and we both were really obsessed over the shoes as well. Like they had these cowboy, were they cowboy boots? Oh, like these boots with Pokemon all over them that were so awesome, but they like sold out. And there was cute sneakers. There were like these shoes with like terrariums in them. Like so crazy guys. So yeah, that's my little unboxing today. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Enjoyed it. I know it's not luxury, but I do have a bit of a fun side to me as well. I, you guys probably can tell I like silly things as well, like Pokemon. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would super appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys soon. 